Hi there everybody, Natasha here. So, I thought I would go through, now it's not for this big box, as you can see, this isn't Scentsy, but these are the non Scentsy products that I have used for all of December and the first part of January. So. There's about a month and a half here of my vendor wax. So I thought I would go through that before it gets too late into two months and I forget what my impressions were on warming these. So let's talk about what nonsensy wax I have warmed for the last month and a half. So. I'm going to start off with, I think, Pumpkin Parcel. Pumpkin Parcel tends to be what I have the most vendor wax of. I tend to purchase from her quite a fair bit. April makes scents here in Australia. She does ship them overseas too, but how she makes them, you will actually place your order and then they are poured and made after you place your order. So I tend to love her mystery boxes. She does a lot of fun themed mystery boxes. She does custom orders, but I'm a sucker for her mystery boxes. I always love a bit of a surprise. So I tend to have built up a bit of a big collection from her, just mainly based on her mystery boxes. I have brought other items, but as I said, I do love her mystery boxes. So, I used up most of this clamshell of Sandy Claws, and this came in the Nightmare Before Christmas mystery box. So, Sandy Claws, I was warming just before we went away on holidays in December. It is peppermint candy cane and vanilla cheesecake so when i smell this i still have two little cubes left from this clamshell but when i smell this i get peppermint and candy canes there is a sweetness from that vanilla cheesecake but i'm not picking up that milky cheese note that i pick up in blueberry cheesecake from Scentsy or other cheesecake notes that I've smelt. I'm picking up predominantly a sweet vanilla candy cane and peppermint scent. This was really nice. I think I was warming this in my bedroom at the time. It filled up my bedroom through really well. I will say though, it was one of those scents that wasn't long lasting. By day two, a lot of the scent had gone, but I enjoyed it for the day that it was warming. Also from Pumpkin Parcel, this was also from the Nightmare Before Christmas mystery box. And this was Sally. So this was a snap bar. So I have talked about this scent previously before. This would definitely be a repurchase for me. Some of her Nightmare Before Christmas scents are now basically available to order singularly. And this is one I would probably reorder singularly. I think I would reorder it though. I've never tried a scoopable, but I would be interested to maybe try this in a scoopable or reorder it in her clamshell version so when you place orders from pumpkin parcel you can either get your snap bars your clamshells you can get your scoopables if you're not sure whether you're going to like a scent you can get little samples or you can get your little shot pots like that so you can get all her scents in a variety of different sizes and styles which is really good so 
did I write the scent notes down for Sally? So this is Jasmine, Rose Petals, Amber and Cashmere. And this is also going in the bedroom. So I think like a warm amber cashmere, but a lot sweeter. The jasmine really sweetens this out and then that amber and cashmere tone this down this is so so pretty and you also get that powdery perfumey note of the rose it's not a rose scent that you smell it more takes on this powdery perfume note kind of like the perfumey notes that you kind of get in cozy cardigan from Scentsy is the best I could probably describe this but this is a very pretty i warm this in my bedroom it lasts a good two three days in my bedroom so this is one that is a bit long lasting it's very soft but it's very feminine it's very perfumey very romantic but also sweet and floral at the same time really really love that one Okay, so this one was from her Vampire Diaries mystery box. And as you can see, I've almost finished up this snap bar. I've got four little cubes left of this snap bar. And this one is Damon Salvatore. So I'm not the biggest fan of cologne notes when I do warm a cologne note it's generally in the bathroom laundry area I kind of think cologne as something that goes with the bathroom because it's clean and fresh but this cologne note is beautiful it's not overpowering at all and it's got a really bursty fresh zing that I'd quite happily warm Damon Salvatore in a lounge room I'd warm it in a bedroom because it is so fresh and zingy and vibrant so and it's described as Damon is a very sexy cologne plus lime so that citrus limes just giving it that burst of vibrant energy zest there are very few cologne notes that i would fall in love with and say i would repurchase a game damon salvatore is one of those that i absolutely loved so this was from the Harry Potter collection and this was Butterbeer. So I warmed this the day before I left and I didn't want to have a mass load of warmers going. My friend that's staying with us in house sitting, she tells me I have too many warmers going she can't breathe when I have that many warmers going. And actually when I was away, she went and turned a lot of the warmers off to the point that she unplugged a lot of them, even though they weren't on. So I just had this going in one warmer in the kitchen and it actually trickled out, just this small little scent cup, it actually trickled out into the lounge room and you could smell it from the kitchen all the way through that lounge room. So this was a beautiful, strong performer. It's very rich, decadent, maple -y type bakery. And I'm just checking to see if I wrote down the scent notes of Butterbeer.
or if I can find the scent notes of butterbeer for you. So it's very much a bakery scent. Okay, butterbeer is butterscotch and creamy and cream soda. So you're definitely getting that butterscotch scent, but it's not, even though it's very cloying it's very rich and decadent it's not in your face cloying it's nowhere near as heavy it's not a heavy heavy scent i think that creaming soda kind of lightens it up a bit get gives it a bit of airiness to it but it, like the salted caramel toffee i find with scents is very heavy it's beautiful but it is very heavy this has kind of got a little bit of a lightness about it but you're also getting that rich, clean, sweet, mapley note. It is absolutely stunning and I absolutely love this one. This would be a repurchase for me in probably a clamshell or a game, something larger. So the last thing from Pumpkin Parcel before we delve into some of the other vendor wax. I brought... She did a Christmas special of what's a called a layered wax. So in here, you can see there's one, two, three, four different scents. And then it is all layered with a vanilla cupcake top. So it had a pine tree with that vanilla cupcake top layer. And eggnog and cinnamon with that vanilla cupcake top top layer a candy cane with that vanilla cup cake top layer and a sugar cookie with that vanilla cup cake top layer so I did this in the kitchen area when I was doing my pine trees and Christmas trees I thought I wanted to bring a bit of bakery a bit of kitcheny theme thing and not full-on tree so I decided to try the pine tree from this with the vanilla cup cake top layer and like if i show you the front that's all the vanilla cup cake top layer and then the back is those separate scents so smelling this now i can smell the christmas tree but i kind of opened it before it had quite cured so when I was warming this, all I could really smell was that vanilla cupcake top layer. I'm thinking now that it's cured more, that some of these bottom scents will come through more when I try warming more of them. So that was Pumpkin Parcel. Let's move on to my next vendor wax here in Australia that I purchased of. So this is from a company called Ava Rose Candles and I have purchased a few times from them too and I am going to have to start using some more of my other vendor waxes from these other companies. So this was a collection that Ava Rose Candle did called the Witchcraft Collection and it was based on the movie Hocus Pocus and I had previously warmed through so there's one two three four five six different scents based on this collection and I had previously warmed through I think one or maybe two of the cubes called Book of Spells so I decided to finish 
using up the Book of Spells from this collection. And it is described as sun drenched and filled with grapey goodness, tart plum notes and a hint of sweet strawberries. So kind of reminded me a little bit of Monsters Inc or of Alice in Wonderland from Scentsy. It's got that very and if you're wondering why I'm referring to Scentsy, it is because I am a little bit more newer to vendor wax and a lot of my comparisons to Scentsy are based on the fact that I've been using Scentsy a lot longer and kind of know those scents a lot more. So it's very fruity, but it's got that tart, fruity scent and that zing from the sweetness, which is why it's kind of reminding me of those Alice in Wonderland scents and the Monstropolis tent scent because you get that tart but that's sweet but it's bright at the same time and it's vibrant at the same time so that was warmed in the kitchen area and I think I may have even warmed this when I was warming Alice in Wonderland or Monsters Inc first time I warmed it I think with Monsters Inc the second time when I finished it I think I might have been warming Alice in Wonderland at the time or a scent similar that, to that because I do like to warm scents that are complementary to each other if they're meeting in the same area in the open concept area which my lounge room and kitchen generally are they do come off each other so the last one this is from Mad Witch Co and I just recently completed an order before I went away at Christmas time with her which is where this came from and this is what I've just recently been melting so the thrown that's staying with us has gone away for a few days she doesn't do cinnamon she doesn't do coffee scents I love cinnamon scents I love coffee scents so I thought I would go a little bit gun-ho and what I had going I had one of the bring back my bars bakery scent goings in the big warmers in my kitchen but I wanted to enjoy one of my coffee scents while she was away and this one is espresso patronum which is from their Harry Potter collection and she calls these spooky melts so I get them out for you it's like a bag of melts but they're all different shapes so you've got like a spider web I don't know if you can see there we go the details so you've got like the spider web your little bat your ghostly ghoul and this was a witch's hat so in my kitchen I have two big warmers and two mini warmers so in the mini warmers I popped in some of my witch's hat now this is a beautiful coffee scent and I'm wanting to go back and actually get more but I've got so much wax at the moment I do have to kind of working on getting it down so this is like a freshly brewed coffee bean that you've opened the bag and you can smell those coffee beans 
there is like a creamy note to it but it's not a milky creamy note like you've added milk it's kind of like you've added maybe just a touch of cream to a full-on heavy food coffee and because it is so strong and as much as I would love it I wanted to create kind of like a you've just walked in off the street into a cafe you can smell the cake and coffee going which is why I popped it in the mini warmers then had a bakery scent kind of going with this at the same time and the last thing I used up was a pack of cotton wool balls so I used the cotton cleanets for my big warmers but they don't quite fit in the mini warmers so I tend to use cotton wool balls in my mini warmers so that was kind of my vendor wax that I have been using up so let's talk about my thoughts on so I've been watching Ella Harris and all the other people that are participating in a low buy wax challenge each week they're given a theme to melt and do a and they're given a budget of a month I think it is a hundred dollars American so that would equate to about hundred and thirty dollars here in Australia now I made a comment on Edda's one how excited I was to be watching all these comments she suggested maybe I should join in now I am contemplating maybe joining in a little bit late I think currently this week they're doing clams and scoopables I don't actually have any scoopables at the moment I haven't quite delved into scoopables yet but I do have a lot of clams and the reason I'm thinking of maybe joining in I don't know how I'd go with the low buy part to be honest with you if something comes out and I like the sound of it, I kind of purchase it. But looking at my wax stash, and I am going to quickly turn the camera around to try and show you in a moment. But I've got a lot of wax at the moment and I do kind of need to get it down. So I'm thinking this maybe would be a good idea maybe to attempt to do this but I am going to say if I do do this I'm probably going to cheat a little bit because my Sensi Club each month kind of goes over that amount in the low buy category I would have to really look at butchering my Sensi Club down and I do purchase all of the new collections that come out with Sensi being a consultant and use them as samples for my customers. So I will probably discount any new collections coming out with Scentsy and my Scentsy Club if I were to do this and my low buy would count for any other future purchases. It wouldn't count for Scentsy Club and it wouldn't count for any new Scentsy collections because I am buying them to use to make as samples and to trial and to provide reviews here on YouTube. So I may start joining in week three to see if I can get that stash down. So just to give you an idea, let's have a look at my stash. Before I do show you this, I am going to say none of this is a sale it is for my own personal use i don't buy this to sell so i'm just a wax addict and i love home fragrance so let's go take a look so these three drawers here is kind of where i keep most of my wax so as you can see i'm very much a categoriser so the 
first two drawers are basically all Scentsy. So by categoriser, I like to categorise in what type of scents they are. So as you can see, I've got mint, fresh, cologne, mockle doodle. Now there are over 300 Scentsy bars here I've already counted. So as you can see, when I open these drawers, you can fit up to two, four, six, eight, 16 bars in them. So this whole lot of shelving is Scentsy. Second drawers are Scentsy. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten drawers per each of these trolleys as well. Then if we head over to the third drawer here, so the first one's Scentsy. The second drawer here is where I keep partially used bars. I do apologize for the camera moving. So bars I haven't fully used up. So that's where my partial bars go. I really don't like having partial bars and I do try to use up my partial bars first. And then here is where kind of those special collections of my Bender Wax go. So as you can see, that's a Harry Potter one from Ava Rose. So that's kind of like the one I just showed, which is the witch one that I've been going through. And then the next drawer, as you can see, that's all Bender Wax in their like sample size or their smaller size. Then I have all my vendor wax shop parts. Then I have all my vendor wax snap bar type scents. And then all my vendor wax clamshells here. And then after that, they're just things like my scent circles and scent packs from Scentsy. And I do have like a few full collections over on my other bookshelf of Scentsy as well. So as you can see, I do have a fair bit of wax to get through. And I really should put myself on a low buy if I am going to get through all of this fabulous wax because I did go a little bit crazy before Christmas purchasing a lot of vendor wax and experimenting with vendor wax for the first time but I think it's now at a stage where I need to kind of slow down start looking at using what I have so I'm going to probably jump on to week three and maybe start sharing with you guys and try and this challenge too. As I said, I just don't know how well I'm going to go. I don't think the hardest part for me would be choosing wax based on the themes because as you can see, I have a lot of wax. I think the hardest part for me would be sticking to that low buy. So let's see how I go. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. I look forward to speaking to you all again soon. I hope you are all doing safe. And until I speak to you again, bye for now. Hi everybody, this is Natasha Wilkinson, your independent sensory consultant from Mount Isa, Australia. Now, today I'm going to continue to walk through transition month with you. I've already gone through the fragrances in wax bars that will no longer be available as of the end of January. Today, we're going to talk about our Scentsy wheels. So there are in Region 3 Australia and New Zealand five wheels that will be discontinuing from our catalogue and will no longer be available as of the end of this month. You can currently get them for 10% off while stocks last 
once they're gone, they're gone. So unlike our wax bars, there isn't a always get my oil, there isn't an always get my pod, there isn't an always get my basically other item. You can't put them in Scentsy Club and get them. Once they discontinue this month, you will be no longer able to get them. And typically, our oils, unlike some of our wax bar fragrances, generally 90% of the time don't make a return back the following catalogue season. So usually when we're saying goodbye to an oil, we're saying goodbye to an oil. Saying that though, there are two oils in here that did retire last spring, summer and then did come um, back, sorry, that did retire in our last autumn at the end of our last spring, summer catalogue and then did come back again after the autumn winning catalogue finished and the new spring, summer catalogue came back. So two of them did come back with this last catalogue, but generally most they don't come back so if you love one of these oils my suggestion is to pick up one or two of them now because you're likely not to see them unless they pop up in a clearance section update and then then that's no guarantee either so let's talk about what oils are actually leaving the catalog so this one is one that actually surprised me that's leaving and that is our lavender oil so there are two oils that are a little bit more expensive than the rest of our oils and that's because the rest of our oils are an essential blend whereas the two that are a little bit more expensive are a pure oil and a pure essential oil and one of them is actually retiring at the end of this month and that is our lavender 100 percent pure essential oil so it is classic lavender is known for its exquisite perfume the essence of calm and relaxation it is equally floral soft and herbaceous so this was in our calming section and it's basically a pure lavender oil. It's a very herbal lavender. So I'm not picking up much sweetness from this being a pure lavender one, but I am shocked it's leaving being just a plain lavender and not anything else mixed with it. We do have a lot of other lavender base oils but they usually have another scent mixed with it whereas this is just pure straight out lavender so i'll just use up my little tester size one it's not one that really interests me in buying another one as much as i like it i've got so many other different lavender type oils here i enjoy all the lavender oils lavender is one that i kind of reach for to put on of a night time in the bedroom so I'm not really picky with what lavender oil I do choose so that's for me not one that I would probably pick up one of but I will use what's left in that one. The next one we're going to talk about now this is one that had retired and then it didn't come back in this season and that was chamomile and violet. And it is in the calming section also. So it is chamomile eases into aromatic tea leaves and delicate violet. So I did toy with maybe picking up one of these ones but I actually have this from my original set and then I got another little one of this in my 
transition set. I don't know if I've still got the second one, but I still do have this one. And as much as I enjoy it, I figured I've got so many oils and I don't reach for it enough to want to grab a big one of this. So this one is quite florally and powdery. You can definitely smell that floral powder of violet, but then it has a bitter edge to it from that tea note also. So you do get a bit of a tea note to it and I think that's what kind of turns me off a bit. I find some tea scents to me can come across smelling a little bit bitter. It is softened with the violet and the powdery floral and it's something summery and bright with that tea note so it kind of is calming at the same time which is probably why it's in the calming section so i'll just enjoy what i have of these one or two little bottles i don't even know if i've still got the second bottle as i said i know i've got one bottle which i'll enjoy but it's not something that i would rush out to pick up a another one of so the next one we're going to talk about is sea salt and lotus and that was in our balancing section so it is described as balancing lotus and fragrant eucalyptus stay fresh under a pinch of sea salt. So this was too salty sea air for my liking. It's that eucalyptus you can smell in this too. So it's a very crisp, very fresh, salty sea air type smell. If you like those crisp, fresh, salty sea air smells, you'd probably enjoy sea salt and lotus. It's just coming off a little too salty for my liking. So again, not another one that I'm wanting to rush out and pick up before the end of transition. So, the next one I'm going to talk about is vetiver and sandalwood. So this is a really nice one I like to use in the bedroom. And again, this was the other one that actually did make a return after being discontinued. So this was in our comforting section, I believe. So it's find your sanctuary in serving notes, sandalwood, vivita and amber. So it is very soft warm earthy woodsy notes and it's beautiful i did consider grabbing one of these and picking up one of these during transition but because it is one that did come back i did end up with two of these small size bottles and as much as i love to diffuse this in the bedroom there are other ones that I reach for a little bit more, so I think I'll be good with the two little ones I have and enjoy them while I have them. The last one, which I did place in order for for a big one, is Passion Fruit Bamboo Flower. So I did pick up one of these and it will be coming in my next order. I placed it with my Valentine's order and that is in the uplifting section and it is bamboo flower gets pumped up by passion fruit and red guava so this is a very bright fruity tropical scent that passion fruit gives a very bouncy zest to it but it's not overpoweringly citrusy zest, it's more to me fruity and it goes absolutely beautiful with Here Comes the Sunflowers and those bright florally notes that I like to warm during summer. So it's the perfect accompaniment. So I had to grab a large one of them. So they are the oils that will be leaving us at the end of this month. 
If I were to rank them in order of my favorite to least favorite, I would say bamboo, passion flower, and vivita and sandalwood. It's very hard for me to actually choose which one I like better because I use them for different occasions. I use the vivita and sandalwood in the bedroom for something warm and comforting and relaxing of a night time and I use the bamboo passion fruit flower one mainly in my open concept area during the daytime so I'm going to put them as equal first because they are used for different reasons and if out of any of the five I were to pick up bottles of or stock a little hoard of them they would be these two fragrances after that, I'm going to say lavender would be my second preference after those two. Just a very versatile, general lavender scent. Can't go wrong with that. Followed by chamomile and violet and then sea salt and lotus. So, they are the oils that are leaving us. I hope you enjoyed this little video on what others are leaving us are there any that are your favorites that you are considering stocking up let me know so i will hop on again later until then stay safe and bye